you know, speaking of things that are just delightful and just make you happy and put a smile on faces, the Steve Martin Martin short show, Only Murders in the Building, is just kind of snuck in out of nowhere when season one came out and just quietly captivated millions of fans. And everybody fell in love with it. Of course, the second season just had its finale last night. Everybody, my wife is obsessed with Anne is absolutely obsessed with this show. By the way, I, did you see any of Martin Short on Jimmy Fallon? Oh, he's brilliant. Oh my God. That was one of the funniest things I've seen on a late night talk show. Was that show. this week? I, this week or last week, I can't remember exactly, mm -hmm. but it, it was it was pretty funny. Um, at any rate, so we just, now I don't want to give any spoilers away, but I mean, th this is did air last night. Uh, news came out that one of my favorite guys in the world, Paul Rudd, I love Paul Rudd. I, I've actually had the opportunity to get together with Paul Rudd and talk to him about stuff on a number of occasions. I, I just think the dude is absolutely fantastic. And I had a, uh, he is now going to be appearing in season three of Only Murders in the Building. Uh, now, how exhaustive uh, his role will be, we're not really sure. This comes just from the folks who uh, over at Variety, and they wrote the following. They said, uh, Paul Rudd has joined the cast of Only Murders in the Building. The actor will star in the show's third season after making a cameo uh, as Broadway star Ben Glenroy in the season two finale. Uh, I know who did it. It is not known whether Rudd will appear in the series as a series regular, recurring, or guest capacity. But I think for anybody anywhere, having a guy like Paul Rudd, who again is just absolutely amazing. I love this guy. You know, Paul Rudd is one of these guys who has very quietly, very quietly, gone on to amass like one of the best, most celebrated like comedy careers. When you actually look down his filmography, it's like, oh my God, he was in that. It's like, oh right, he was in that. And he was in that. He's just very quietly gone about amassing a Hall of Fame kind of career. Anyway, Rob, you hear about him showing up in Only Murders in the Building. What do you think? Uh, I'm a huge fan of his. And, and like you said, his comedy career is impeccable. And also his MCU career. I love the Ant-Man movies. And, and he was great. He was great. I mean, he's one of those people in, in Endgame that comes out of the quantum realm. And we see what has happened in the post-blip world through his eyes. I mean, and he's got three hot toys of himself. <laughs> and, and actually, he, he has a bunch of hot toys. He actually, I, I, he's not as serious a collector of hot toys to say you are or anything like that. But. Well, he's rich. He can buy whatever he wants. <laughs> anyway, Chris, you hear about this. What do you think? Oh, man. I woke up at like five to walk my dogs, opened up Twitter and saw on this, this on Variety. And I didn't get to watch the finale last night. So I was so mad that I didn't get to see him in this. But I mean, adding talent is never a bad idea, right? And this is a fantastic, fantastic show. Only Murders in the Building is one of my favorite things I've been watching lately. Steve Martin and Martin Short are obviously comedy legends. And Selena Gomez playing the straight man in that show is so good. I I think she keeps getting overlooked because she's with these titans. And she holds her own, especially in the last few episodes. She's been incredible. So having Paul Rudd in the mix and playing a Broadway star, I'm very, very excited. I've loved him ever since, you know, like Romeo and Juliet and Clueless. I'm I want to know the him. story of, of how Selena Gomez got cast. Because I wonder if like... Her agents were like, I don't know about this, Selena. Like, how she, because she is so good in the show. In an interview with Steve Martin, I know there was initial reworking because it was going to be, I believe, three older men doing this where they all came together. And then as they workshopped it, it was, well, what if we get, you know, like a millennial in the mix? And it's kind of this odd couple group that comes together and they have that bond of the murder. That's podcast. A, again, a genius move. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys. Question is for you. Do you guys watch Only Murders in the Building? Are you a Paul Rudd fan? Maybe you're not. What do you think about this? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Me Undies. Now, guys, we've all heard of gut instinct, but have you ever heard of butt instinct? It's when your butt tells you it wants new undies. Listen to your butt. Luckily for you, we work with Me Undies, makers of the most buttery, soft, and sustainable undies, bralettes, and socks that exist. Guys, for too long, I lived my life wearing those Amazon or Walmart 20 pack cheap underwear that I thought were just fine until I tried Me Undies undies. Now it's like my nether regions are in a Palm Springs resort. So guys, let your skin sing a song of joy with undies, socks, and bralettes that feel as if they're spun from silken clouds. Guaranteed to be the softest stuff you've ever felt in your life, their signature micromodal fabric is sustainable, 
breathable, and stretchy as heck. Available in sizes extra small to 4XL, they have new colors and prints dropping weekly, so there's always something exciting to check out. Try out their free-to-join membership for free shipping on every order and exclusive perks, like an item shipped to your door every month, secret sales, and early access to their newest stuff. MeUndies has a great offer for all John Campy Show viewers and listeners. For any first-time purchaser, you get 20% off, plus free shipping and returns. To get 20 percent off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash Campia. That's MeUndies.com slash Campia.